We're going to look at another drill now, which involves maintaining an active blade throughout that drill. It's a great little exercise and you can take this to the white water environment. So go and give it a practice. To demonstrate this active blade concept, we're going to link several strokes together. Here we go then. I'm just about to initiate the sequence of strokes that we're going to link together. Here I'm going to talk you through the different stroke sequences that I'm linking together to maintain an active blade. I go from power to stern rudder, from stern rudder to hanging draw, from hanging draw to bow draw, back to power and away. Power, stern rudder, hanging draw, bow draw, power. Power to stern, from hanging draw to bow draw. I'm going to do it again and just for practice we're going to get it on the left hand side. Power to stern rudder, stern rudder to hanging draw, bow draw, back to power. There's our active blade sequence then and that's really really useful to maintain an active blade in the river. Keeping the blade active gives you a degree of control over what the boat's doing. Take the blade out of the water and you've lost that control. That's why it's important if you can practice these strokes. And quite often it's easier to keep the blade in the water and keep it doing something to transition to the opposite blade. <laughs>